Audio Jungle. Audio Jungle. Good afternoon. Here is the national news from BGI TV. Baba Bagere TV. I am signing to lack on me at GK Day. First year the major headlines for the national news. Jubilation as federal government registers informal sector trade union. No extension for police officers due for retirement, says BSC. Local government balls escaped dead. Consulate killed as bandits raid Niger local government areas. Police invade hostel. Brutalized unisex female students while naked. One missing, 15 cows killed as government invade Anambra State. Islamic teacher bags like jail for deviling AIDS puppies. And lastly, on sport, flamingos will be paid under 17 women's World Cup bonuses soon, says Guzal. Now hear the news in details. Amid jubilation, the federal government yesterday presented a letter of approval of registration to an informal sector trade union. The Amagata Union of Up Based Transport Workers of Nigeria. A statement at the Held Press and Public Relations Ministry of Labor and Employment, Olajide Oshudu, informed that the Minister of Lagos and Employment, Senator Chris Inkige, made his presentation at the ceremony in his office. The membership of the new union comprises all up based transport workers online transport services, and electronic aiding drivers and operators in Nigeria. Making remarks before the presentation, Ingige described the registration of the new union as a milestone in labor administration, particularly in the trade union services segment, adding that it marks a contribute global journey to formalize the informal sector, which constitutes the larger population in the world of work. The minister noted that the pros now the informal sector had been unmanageable owing to lack of identifiable structural framework to harmonize and demarcate its device sectors. The Police Service Commission says all police officers due for retirement must assist the service, saying the commission will not sustain the tenures of the retiring senior police officers. There had been fear that many police officers would be retiring ahead of February 25 presidential election, which might affect the conduct of the election. But the PLC insisted that all the work workers, police officers, due for retirement would be pulled out as that when due. The PLC spokesman, Ikeshiku Ane, saw this is statement on Tuesday. He said all existing laws the Police Act, PLC Act, and Constitution of Nigeria constrain the Commission for elongating the tenure of retiring senior police officers. The chairman of Shire Local Government Area Council of Niger State, Ali Aji Akilu Isiaku Kuta, narrowly escaped being killed when government ambushed him on his way to Mina from Kuta, his local government headquarters, on Sunday. However, one of the newly elected councillors representing Alawa Ward in the local government was not lucky as he was killed by the government. The bandits, according to reports, between Saturday and Sunday raided to Afok in three local government areas of the state, Shiriro, Muya, and Paikoro, in injuring many of the villagers apart from roughly their cattle and making away with food stored in bars. A statement made available to this day by the co-convener of the consignatory youth, Mr. Abubakar Yusuf Koki, so the bandits operated for several hours in the affected areas without any endurance. Some policemen attached to the special anti coast unit of the Anambra State Police Command have been accused of breaking into a private hostel housing student of the Inamdi Azikwe University, or CAR, in a bid to arrest suspected fraudsters in the effort in the Alka South Lobe government area of the state. The Polish Metro gathered that during the invasion, which happened around 4 a.m. on Sunday, the policemen who were said to be elbowed armed allegedly put up on unclad female students. A resident who gave his name only as Bennett for security reasons said the policemen brutalized some of the students when they denied knowing any fraudster. 
Then I saw the hostel is called Prince Godwin Lodge, and it is outside the school. What we gather was that there has been robbery operations in the area. So on Sunday, the students started to hear bangs on the gate and doors of the hostel. The undergraduate told the school banging that the door was armed robbers because of what happened in the past, and they raised the alarm. It was when they entered they had the break in the doors of some flat that the students realized that they were policemen and they were jacked with the inscription on spark. One person has been declared missing, 15 cows killed, as suspected government invaded Arno cell cartilage settlement in Ambad of Emily, Alka North Local Government Area of Anambra State. The Southeast leader of Mieti Ala Cattle Breeder Association of Nigeria, Alaji Gidado Siddiqui, who disclosed this in an interview with journalists in Oka on Tuesday, said the suspected government stormed the cattle ranching off on Sunday night and shoot sporadically in the air to scare the residents away from carrying out their nefarious act. He saw that the attackers also attacked the one person and kidnapped Mr. Usman Saud in the process, leaving the settlement in total confusion. According to CD, I was informed by the owner of the off, Arnold Saud, on Monday afternoon that some police suspected to be government have invaded the cattle ranching and killed its 15 cows kidnap one of the subjects who spot Arno in the process. Justice Abiola Saladayo of the Anikeja Domestic Violence and Sexual Offenses Court, Lagos State, on Tuesday, sentenced an Islamic teacher, Adam Faru, to live imprisonment for dividing eight pupils in his class. Faru divided the pupils who were between the age of six and 11 years between November 2018 to February 2019 on Balogun Street, Parkview Estate, Ikoi, Lagos State. The convict was arraigned on eight counts of sexual assault prevailed against him by the Lagos State government. While delivering judgment, Justice Shola Doye stated that the prosecution proved beyond reasonable doubt that the ingredients of the eight count bordering on sexual assault by penetration. Shola Doye described that the convict was morally corrupt as an embarrassment to the Islamic faith. The judge held that the testimony of its survivors was consistent and truthful, adding that the demand during the trial showed that they were not lying. She said that the evidence of the pupils were corroborated and they identified the convicts as their teachers who penetrated the private part with his index fingers. And lastly, on sports. President of Nigerian Football Federation Ali Aji Ibrahim Musa Gustav has assured players and officials of the national under-17 women's team. The Flamingos who won bronze at the 2022 FIFA under-17 women's World Cup in India late last year that their bonuses will be paid in no distance time. Complete sport.com report. Players of Flamingo that defeated their German counterpart to win the third place game at the World Cup in India last October has been agitating for the payment of their March bonuses after they returned to a warm welcome by the Minister of Youth and Sport Development, Chief Sunday Dari. But Guzau was barely a month in office as NFL president when the Flamingos did the nation proud of the World Cup told ComplexSport.com that he was doing everything possible to ensure that players are paid all the money owned by them. And that concludes the national news for this hour. But before we go, here's some of the major headlines once again. Jubilation as federal government registered informal sector trade union. No extension for police officers due for retirement, says PLC. Local government boards escaped death. Councillor killed at bandits raid Niger local government areas. Police invade hostel, brutalized unisic female students while naked. One missing, 15 cow kills the government invade Anambra State. To join us on all our social media handles on Facebook as we are getting on with Alawi at Devayo, please follow the page and share the page. And on Instagram as we are getting on underscore 22, please follow the page and share the page as well. And on YouTube as Baba Gwagedemo TV, kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel and turn your post notification bell. For your advert, please call the number displayed on the screen. Thank you so much for always watching our news on VGI TV. I am Sanus Olakomi Ajikade. Bye for now.
want to know what's going on in city. Or you want to listen to the latest music? 